And uh, yeah, I just found uh, my second find of the day. My first find will be after the intro because I forgot the intro. Uh, it's a really big piece of iron. Uh, you can definitely see some uh, uh, dent or whatever it's called here. Yeah. Some attachment points over here. It's really big, really flimsy actually, so it will break. I also broke part of it with the shovel. So I'm not going to take it with me, but uh, yeah, seems okay. I don't know what it is. Okay, next one. Just found a big Imai piece. No idea what it is. I can't get it out yet. Very deep. And, uh, I don't know if you could show it maybe. Okay. Has a curvy edge, I guess. It's very sharp. So let's see what it is. So probably the lid of a field kitchen, very big one, it's very hard to get out, it's very very deep, uh, under some rock, and yeah, it's very awesome, I hope to show it to you very soon, and uh, hope it has some marks on it, nice, alrighty then, it's out, awesome, yeah, it's definitely from a fuel kitchen. Yeah? You see the attach attachment point there. Oh, yeah, 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 correct. And these two. Nice. This was the handle? Yeah, on the other side. It was right there. Probably still in the hole. It probably <laughs> is, yeah. <laughs> but in very bad condition. Awesome. But it's, it's, it's very cool. It's the first find of the day. So I'm very, very grateful. Thanks. Well, uh, yeah, I just found something. And uh, please check out History Secrets channel to see the, the full story. Uh, but I found this. This is a Hitler Jürgen belt buckle. Uh, and <laughs> it's so awesome. I cannot believe my luck. I've got more signals in the hole. I will check them out for you guys, but I, uh, I have no idea. Such a nice find. All right, let's see if there's more. Wow. Yes, my next find is this. Uh, looks like a cooking pot. I don't know, you can definitely see the roundness. Sorry, I have to lay it down. This was supposed to be the bottom, I guess. But uh, yeah, no markings on it. And uh, it had a small hole in the back. So I don't know. If you have any idea, please uh, let me know in the comment below. Right, next one find a very very nice 50 cal cartridge from the US Army you can see it SL 40 blah it's rusted away so I don't know maybe I can see it at home when I'm cleaning it very cool find very awesome place I'm thinking history secrets from the bottom of my heart that I could join him very 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 interesting day never gonna leave it never gonna leave this day this is this is it. All right, next one. This uh, very big uh, thimble. No, it isn't. I have no idea. It seems that you could change it with a wrench on the edge there. So if you know, please leave a comment. And else, it's a nice find. Okay, next one. Because of recent finds. I was very excited because I had a, a how do you call this, a roundness in the hole and it's only a euro. <laughs> it's great to find money of course, but yeah. Alright, next one. Oh, the next find is a part of an old light bulb. 
I found the same in, uh, in one of my previous videos. And then back then it was American, so I'm assuming it is American. I don't know. All right, next one. On this tin can uh, or aluminium or aluminium, sorry, aluminium is Dutch. Uh, thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. It had a lid on it and it had some burnt black pieces in it. Maybe it was paint or... If you know, please leave me a comment in below. Thanks. Next one. And the next piece is a piece of comb. And I have no idea if this is cross-contamination or... If this is a genuine piece from the Second World War. So I'm gonna take it home, check some combs at home, and maybe it's the right one. Right, next one. So I just found this part. We have no clue, but it could be of a US fire starter. I'm just calling it because I forgot the name. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will check it at home. Right, next one. So by accident, I found this piece of leather, which is Definitely a belt. I don't know if it's part of the belt buckle I found earlier. Yeah, found the belt buckle up there. Found the leather piece up here. So I'll check it for you just a second. Yeah, it fits. It definitely fits, but I don't know if it's the, the, the right one. But yeah, look how awesome this Look how cool this looks. Oh man, nice. So, welcome to today's summary. As usual, we start off in the le left upper corner. And we have the 50 cal shell. Didn't clean up any better on the, on the back. But it's a very nice find. The rest of it is in perfect condition. Um, we have this piece, which I called the thimble, but it isn't. It's a... Uh, um, when you get a wheel out of the... Uh, car from the car and you put it back on you screw this on top of the bolts and I searched for World War two pictures of it and I only found one which had different colors uh, but it was yeah and uh, the photo was taken in uh, the modern days so maybe you choose a different color this was from an uh, American ambulance um, okay then we have the uh, can which has the black stuff inside. It's actually a fire a starter tin can, which I thought this piece was. And it's called wood alcohol. The US Army used it to uh, uh, yeah, flame their fires. Right, we get the Spanish Euro, which is in bad condition, but yeah, we can still pay with it. Um, yeah, this part, I actually then have no clue at all. We have no idea. Um, we have the lid of the pan, which is big, which is in actually not so good condition, but I still like it. Um, we have some uh, ration packages from probably the Germans. A big piece of artillery shell which crumbles beneath my fingers. No markings on it. Uh, we have the piece of comb, which is actually. Uh, World War II, uh, I found both German resemblances and US resemblances. It's a shame because the, the text would have been here. Uh, so we cannot check it out actually, if it's really, really true. Uh, I found a piece of a... Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is supposed to be a sign. Uh, I checked for text, but it was no text available. Um, yeah, we got the light bulb, but yeah, it's okay. Could be from any time frame. Actually, it's old, but yeah, we don't know. And then we come at the pied de la pied, the piece of this day, the best piece of this day. You can see definitely uh, that it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> so happy that I found this. I don't didn't try to clean it all that much because I don't want to damage it any further uh, the colors that you see are done with uh, only a brush and some ultra 
violet cleaning or whatever it's called I don't know ultrasonic probably and the belt yeah you can see that the holes are made by somebody just punching holes in it and it's very very strange I don't actually know if it's part of the belt buckle but it's at least it's awesome it looks awesome and very very happy that I found it um, this makes me so motivated to go out again and again and again so I'll probably go out when this uh, video is rendering <laughs> right so thanks for watching and this time I will get you another bonus shot of my both my dogs hi <laughs> hey. now they're playing a bit nicer than the last time hi yeah okay thanks for watching bye bye